Hey everyone, this is Mace1370 here for another DGR84Q. Well, in our opening pack, we have a Council of the Absolute, which I think for the purposes of Limited is pretty much just a 2 4. Its other abilities will perhaps be relevant on occasion, but um, I am going to look and see how much it's worth because it is a mythic. One moment. All right, it is worth nothing, <laughs> so we will not be taking it. Overall, I'd say this pack is is pretty weak. I think the best card is probably Scad Plan Giant. It's a pretty powerful six drop. Uh, being a four five body, it's almost always going to eat something on their side when you play it, especially if you can accelerate it out a turn or two earlier. Battering Crash, this is fine, and if you took it, it would maybe leave you a little more open. But I think Scad Plan Giant is more powerful than Battering Crash to the point where it's worth taking at this point in the draft. Not going to take a guild gate over a card like Scad Plan Giant, and you know, cards like Pilfered Plans. Um, and Profit and Loss are just basically less powerful. Okay, well, I think I have an easy pick here. This uh, Tristani Summoner is quite a bomb. Very, very hard to come back after, uh, for your opponent to come back after you lay this down. It just puts so much power and toughness on the board. And if you can abuse it in any way, like return it to your hand, then it's basically a one-man army uh, in a can. Dragon Shift, I think is okay, but it's really not great. I wouldn't spend a high pick on it. You can kind of look at it as a cheap com or a, as a poor combat trick at three mana. Maybe you eat one of their guys, and then at overload cost, you might be able to blow them out. I mean, so it's not a terrible unplayable card. I just wouldn't pick it early, and it's an is it colors, which is kind of another downer. If this card wasn't here, I'm not really sure what I would take. Maybe just a Windrake, uh, or perhaps a Rakdos Drake. Probably the Windrake. Uh, Selesnya Guildgate here again. Maybe we'll get one of those on the wheel. Okay, well, now we have a decision to make. There's several good cards here. There is a Vishino First Blade, and there's also a Zerta Druid. These guys are kind of the premium commons in their guild. Some of the uncommons are less exciting. I mean, they're still good, like Crows to Gorgon. Showstopper's not that great. Woodlet Crawler is pretty solid, but we're not really looking to be Demir right now. Blast of Genius is fine, but again, we're not really looking to be Is it right now. So I think for us it's between the first blade and the Zerta Druid. And given the fact that we have a Scad Plan Giant, I think I'm going to lean towards the Zerta Druid here with the uh, goal of perhaps going uh, uh, going Gruel, maybe splashing white for Tristani Summoner. Boros Mastiff uh, and Vishina First Blade are both white cards, um, so maybe white is open, but a Zerta Druid here could be a signal as well. Alright, I'm happy enough to take a Battering Crassus. And there's another Blast of Genius. I don't really know where I come down on Riot Piker. I'm pretty sure it's unplayable. Some people are saying, oh, if you get a very aggressive deck, then you can run it, and it's fine. I, I don't know. I, I'm just so wary of cards like this. They seem, they seem like they punish you more than they help you. Other cards in this pack, I mean, there's a Guild Gate, Gatekeepers. I pretty much learned not to take gatekeepers early. Uh, they wheel, and they're really not exciting unless you get a few guild gates. And I'm not even sure if we'll get any uh, this pack. Wow, that's another woodly crawler. All right. Um, hmm. Here there is no good green. Amara Tandris is okay, but not exciting. There's a steeple rock and a deputy of acquittals. Uh, and a Runner's Bane, so perhaps Azorius is open. This card I am not super excited about. It's a 7 drop, and it, it just doesn't feel that great to me. I could take a Boros Clue Stone with the intent of splashing the Summoner, but that does not seem, not seem very exciting to me either. Yeah, I mean, taking this and going to Lesnia doesn't seem that great. I think I'm just taking Boris Cluestone. I don't really know what the correct pick here is. Okay, so we have another whiff. This pack doesn't really have anything I would be excited about. I guess unless I was, is it, is it seems like it's open pretty reliably. There's a Nivik Cyclops. So I, I guess we could be Izzet in this draft, or could have been Izzet. And it, it's looking like Gruel is not open, at least in this pack. But hopefully that means we'll get rewarded pack two. Uh, so as far as what we can take, hmm. uh, maybe I just take the Nivik Cyclops, and maybe if all those Izzet cards wheel and nothing else comes, I can go Izzet. 
It's like the fifth Woodland Crawler we've seen, which is pretty ridiculous. Here I'll just take Runner's Bane. I'm not, I'm not really interested in playing Gleam of Battle or Maze Rusher, I don't think. Even if I end up in Gruel, Maze Rusher is not that exciting. And if I end up in Is It, then Runner's Bane could be good. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess I just took a Guildgate. There's not much here. This pack is pretty empty. Alright. So, I suppose this was our opening pack. And Signal's seen kind of all over the place. I guess, uh, it, maybe I could have been Demir as well. We saw a lot of Pilfered Plains and Woodlit Crawlers. Woodlit Crawlers are, are a good card, but they're not something that would push me into Mirror, to be honest. Could take a Protect and Serve. Yeah, at least if we end up in white, it's at least a combat trick we can play. And none of the Izzet cards are really wheeling. I guess we'll take Clearpath and hopefully keep the Gold Dream alive. Yeah, this is pretty miserable. So I'm taking Lane of Decree. So the next pack has to be quite good for us to salvage this. Um, I think it really matters what I take there too much. Yeah, so we got effectively nothing this pack after after the Zertov Droden Battering Crassus. Which is a little upsetting. Hopefully that will position us well for pack two. But we have to we have to run really well for the rest of the draft to salvage this thing. Um, well, this is a breeding pool, and normally I would just snatch it up, but given the fact that we're so low on playables, I think I have to just take Slaughterhorn or Pit Fight. Probably just Slaughterhorn just to get creatures. Uh, it's unfortunate, I don't really like passing these lands, uh, just because they're worth a few tickets, but sure, we'll take Slaughterhorn. Wow, well we passed a whole bunch of blue, and here's a stolen identity. Uh, so that might be a reason to jump in. Can we do uh, red? Maybe I'm trying to think how I could possibly make this work. Stolen identity is a pretty powerful motivator to just jump in. There's a gruel charm. Yeah, this is tough. I'm going to take it speculatively. If I miss out on a gruel charm, then so be it. Wow, and there's just nothing here. Don't really want an unexpected results. Don't even have a potential fixer to take. Um, don't want a last thoughts. I guess I could take spell rupture, but that just seems pretty miserable. I haven't really taken any black at this point. Yeah, I guess we're taking. We could just take a Guildgate. This might be this might be one of those decks. Yeah, I'll just take a Guildgate. I'm, I'm not really sure what's going on here. Okay, I guess we're potentially looking at just going. Uh, I mean, I could take one minute infantry. Actually, <laughs> I, was, I was about to just jump in and do it. Um, I, I'm just very concerned that we're not getting enough playables if we try to do the girl plan. Despite being uh, pretty much completely cut, I have not seen much gruel in the first three picks of this pack. And we would have to, like I said earlier, run very well to salvage um, and do well going gruel. And I think blue is open in pack one, so I'm going to abandon gruel and I'm just going to take the primordial. And of course, we get immediately past a Zertos swine. So there's a Mystic Genesis. I think I might just take a Guild Gate. We might honestly just be running some sort of five color mess. Um, and the guild gate will help us do that. Urban evolution is tempting. If we could maybe go green, blue, uh, and then white or red, depending. Um, yeah, this is tough. 
Let's see, so we have uh, Slaughter Horn, Battering Crassus. I think we definitely want to run green because we have some very good green cards. And then whether we run the red or white, I think we'll. I think I'm leaning towards white. All right, I'll take the Urban Evolution. And here I'll take Zami Guildmage. So it looks like we're kind of like jumping into Simic here. Uh, Demir Guildgate doesn't really do much for us, but a Prophetic Prism is pretty much perfect. Okay, so I think that's going to be my plan. I mean, I'll just take Row Nation Worm here to take it. There's not much else. And yeah, Frilled Octopus is pretty sweet. Okay, so I think that's my plan. So because I think the blue is open in pack one, I'm going to run Simic and then splash probably just white for Tristani. I don't think we're running the Nivix Cyclops. What do I want to take here? None of these cards really do anything for me. So I will take a foil land. And we could take the last thoughts. We don't really have any evasive creatures. So I'll just take the spell rupture. And here I will take scatter arc. And we can hide this. Hide that. So I guess protect and serve we might be able to play now. Alright, so our deck is pretty much a mess. We might even end up running some sort of four color nonsense uh, just to get enough playables, but I think we've picked up a decent amount of fixing, so we might be able to pull that off. Between these two, I guess we'll take the creature. Yeah. Uh, it's a little unfortunate. Maybe I was a little too tunnel visioned on Girl after getting the Zerta Druid and Battering Crisis. I think I should have been a little bit more flexible. But hindsight is 2020. The thing that surprises me was I was really expecting Gruel to be fairly open in pack two, and we did not see very much of it. We saw like the Zerdod or the, the Swine, uh, but we didn't see any of the premium two drops you'd normally expect to see. It's possible that they just weren't open. And we did pass the Vichino first blade and the Boros Mastiff, so maybe a Gruel player, I mean a uh, Boros player, snatched a bunch of them up. And of course, we open Mizium Orders. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is interesting. Show all. So we only have the two guild gates. I guess we could just run everything except for black. We have a prof prism, clue stone. Couple of guild gates already. I kind of just want to take the Axebane Guardian here um, because I think our deck needs it. And I don't think we can afford to take the Mizium Mortar as much as I want to. This kills me a little bit inside to do this, but say la vie. Okay. I guess just another Axebane Guardian probably. And at this point, it is, I think we will play a little bit of red because we, we have the fixing for it now. Yeah, we'll take the X bin here. Oh, that's a third X bin. I don't know if I want to go that deep. Man, if I knew I was going to get two of these guys in a row, I probably would have just taken the Mizium Mortars and gone uh, head first into the deep end. Could take a Zorius Charm. Doesn't seem that great for us, though. Yep, I guess I'm just taking another Axe Bane. I guess we could have taken Cross Time Courier as well. I like Void Builder a lot. It's a very solid card. Uh, we don't really need a Trestle Troll or, you know, a Dried Militant, but yeah, Void Wielder is solid. And another Void Wielder, very solid. I will take that too. Okay, Soul Sworn Spirit. So yeah, like, like I thought, blue is definitely open. So we are getting rewarded somewhat for moving into it now. Um, probably hide the scatter arc. Hide this. We might, we might play pilfered plans. I don't think we're playing down and dirty. Or the Boris Clue Stone. Uh, we have the Demir Guild Gate, so in theory we could splash and, and play the pilfered plans if we need to. But yeah, we have a heavy top end, and I think that's fine given the fact that we have like massive ramp with these guys. 
Um, so hopefully uh, I'm having my fingers crossed that Horncaller's Chant makes it around the table. I think that would be a decent addition to our deck since it looks like we're playing a pretty heavy top end. Okay, we could take a Giant Growth or a Guild Gate. I think I'm probably just leaning towards the Guild Gate just to make sure that our mana is pretty smooth. Trans Guild Promenade is another option, but I think I, I think Guild Gate's just better. And it doesn't really seem like we're the type of deck that can really use Giant Growth well. We're pretty defensive. Yeah, I'll take the Guild Gate. Interesting. Um, we could take another 6 drop here, or we could take an Is It Guild Gate. Um, I'm trying to think if we have enough threats or creatures. I mean, I think we have enough 6 drops, and the Is It Guild Gate will help us play some of the red here, so I guess I'll just do that. All right, and it helps us play Thought Flare. So yeah, this deck is super sweet. We'll take a Dramatic Rescue or, or an Inspiration. Hmm, we're not playing that much white, so I don't know how great the Dramatic Rescue will be. I guess we do have two Guild Gates. Hmm, no, we'll just take Inspiration and play it. It'll be easier to cast. Likewise, Cross Down Courier is a good man. And an Action Injunction, and it looks like the uh, Horn Collar's Chant did not wheel like I was hoping it would. That's kind of a bummer. Alright, so this deck is a mess. Can't wait to play it. Okay, so this is a maybe. This cycles, so that's great, I guess. I don't know about the Zerta Druid. I'm playing that. And this. So we have three uh, three drop like mana creators. I don't know if we want to play any more. Um, I think we do need more threats. So I think the Ruination Worm is definitely worth bringing in. We could run the Nivik Cyclops just because. I don't know. This is three red cards though. That's probably our limit. So, yeah, Spell Rusher doesn't seem great either. We have so many, like, O3s and stuff. Definitely playing the Prof Prism. And I guess probably either Protect and Serve, which again doesn't seem great since we're only playing, like, one white card, or a Clue Stone. Clue Stone just seems bad. We play another draw spell. <laughs> we have two. I don't know how many draw spells is too many. I'm doing it. We have two black sources between the prism and the guild gate, and then we have like three more with the axe guardian. So, yeah, I think we're gonna get greedy here. And then we'll look at our color. Actually, the awkward thing is we don't have that much green, but that's okay. Um, so I guess we're running all four guild gates. You know, it's really awkward. We didn't get any gatekeepers. Actually, now that I look at it. This deck would have been a sweet gatekeeper deck since we got four. Do we want to play this? This could be good actually. Actually, maybe we play Down and Dirty instead of Pilfered Plans. Maybe I think I like that more. Because with Down and Dirty, like we could chump with a summoner and bring it back and play it again. That's pretty awesome. If they somehow kill our primordial or our scad clan giant, we get to do it again. Stolen identity on Tristoni Summoner is also pretty hysterical, so yeah, I'm gonna play Down and Dirty. All right, um, let's see what it wants us to do for lands. Probably some complete mess. Sure, let's try that. We'll take out a mountain and put in the is it guild gate. And then we can take out two islands and put in our two is it's. Actually, we'll do it like that. And then, and then I guess we can take out a swamp and put in a forest. Because we want to make sure that we get uh, a green mana for our Axeman Guardians. 
We can even probably take out an island and put it in another forest. The shiny one. Okay. Um, the downside of this is we don't have very many islands that come into play untapped, but I, that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Um, we're not exactly curving out with, you know, two and three drops here. So I'm going to submit and go to game one with my super bad four color deck.